Tele-existence allows a person to experience a real-time sensation of being at a location other than their own and to interact remotely with real or virtual environments. In 1980, the concept of tele-existence was first proposed by Professor Susumu Tachi. Its feasibility was demonstrated through the construction of alter ego robot systems. It was first published in Japanese in 1982 and subsequently in English in 1984. Telepresence and tele-existence are similar concepts that were proposed independently in the USA and Japan respectively. However, they differ in the aspect that telepresence does not include existence in a virtual environment or existence in a real environment through virtual representation. In 1985, a method for mobile tele-existence was proposed and its feasibility was evaluated by developing a tele-vehicle system that can be driven remotely, providing both auditory and visual existence sensations. In 1989, a tele-existence surrogate anthropomorphic robot called Telisa, the first prototype of a tele-existence master-slave system for performing remote manipulation experiments, was designed and developed, and a preliminary tele-existence evaluation experiment was conducted. In 2000, tele-existence in a humanoid biped robot was achieved by developing a tele-existence cockpit under the Humanoid Robot Project, HRP. Furthermore, the advantages of human-like motion were proved. In 2005, a mutual tele-existence master-slave system called Telisa 2 was constructed for the Aichi World Exposition using retro-reflective projection technology, RPT. In addition to the conventional bi-directional verbal communication, simple gestures such as handshakes could be performed. In 2010, a mobile mutual tele-existence system called Telisa 4 was developed with master-slave manipulation capability. It was equipped with an immersive omnidirectional auto-stereoscopic 3D display called Twister with a 360-degree field of view. Using Talisa 4, local participants at the event were able to view the face and expressions of the remote participants in real time. In 2007, Talisa 3 was constructed, which can transfer visual information in a more natural and comfortable manner by accurately tracking the head motion of a person with six degrees of freedom. In 2011, Talisa 5 was developed with a conjunction of 53 degrees of freedom for performing full body movements. The transmission of haptic sensation allows the operator to feel vertical and shearing forces exerted on fingertips. The operator can freely and independently move the robot's head, upper body, arms and hands similar to his own while maintaining the head to arm vector intact. The operator can feel tactile and thermal sensations when touching objects remotely future vision is to expand the technology of tele-existence, to generalize it and make it available as a service where you can travel anywhere without time constraints, work in hazardous places without having to worry about your health, and also to efficiently share specialized skills wherever required without having to undertake physical traveling by effectively combining virtual environments. Tele-existence is a concept that allows humans to be free from time and space restrictions and the sensation of existing in a location defined by inconsistent time and space or in a virtual space. We have been able to transfer body movements, visual sensations, haptic sensations and basic auditory tasks with 32 years of research on tele-existence.